The 2008 Foster G. McGaw Prize is proudly presented by the Baxter International Foundation, the Cardinal Health Foundation, and the American Hospital Association. One hundred and thirty years ago, the sisters came here from St. Hyas in Quebec, and they came because there was a new uh, group of immigrants who had come to the community, the French Canadian, so, who didn't speak English. And they came to work in the mills, and they were working six days a week, and really had a lot of needs. And the sisters came to help meet those needs. What drives our mission is knowing why the sisters came here and really their commitment to the poor and taking care of the poor. In our outreach to the community right now, we are doing what they did, reaching out, naming the needs, and answering those needs. And so we have done that recently with some of the activities in the Nutrition Center and the Lots to Gardens, putting up physician practice right in the downtown where we go to the poor, especially our new neighbors, the Somalis, who are having um, a very difficult time uh, adjusting to a different culture. The B Street Clinic is in a very underserved area, right in downtown Lewiston, and we take everyone here. You know, a, a lot of our patients have Medicaid, but whether they have any insurance or not, we see them. We realize that how we take care of that patient um, really affects how we take care of the whole community. Every culture has different perspectives on healthcare. For example, a lot of our patients don't recognize preventive care. That's not something that's in their culture. So we believe that the, the really major public health issue today is nutrition. And we would like to help make this a healthier community with regard to people's use of food and understanding of food. That's why combining our several programs that relate to food into a single nutrition center is something that we think will be valuable over time. I, mean, I love working for St. Mary's because of what it does for the many, many people that we serve each and every day. Some of them are just families that just can't make ends meet and so it's not enough with food stamps that they they depend on the food pantry. It's more about getting the community together and working as a community so that we can better serve each other. Each step of the way as my life has had its ups and downs, St. Mary's has been there for me, the pantry's been for the, there for me, the, the programs that they offer were something I could take advantage of that was advantageous that got us through a really rough time. Tying that together with the Lots to Gardens program, where young people are out working in their own neighborhoods, uh, helping teach people how to plant gardens and, and grow food, it all really, I think, all comes together to help um, people have a better understanding of food and, and how best to use food to, to the benefit of their health. Beyond the, the gardens themselves, the, the programs that involve youth and, and children are teaching them things um, you know, about healthy eating and about gardening, but also teaching them about um, healthy community and about um, conflict resolution and about you know, appreciating diversity. So we have intentional programs um, that are addressing those issues and challenging you know, each individual to see how they can contribute to their community. Looking at the downtown and saying, what can we do down there, was number one, housing. Build something that people want to live in, that they can be proud to live in, and that can make downtown their home, was important to us. We'd still be renting if we didn't have this program. There's no way we'd be able to afford um, a house at all. Um, the hospital helps us. We help our neighbors, and our neighbors help other community members and that's what everybody needs this in, in this economy. Um, times are tough and you need to step up and help your friends and your neighbors and your family. Firefighting is inherently dangerous and uh, health and fitness are a very important part of uh, making it through the shift. Having St. Mary's Take Charge come on scene uh, brings to the firefighters a, a first-hand look at their present health status and what they need to do going forward to improve. It gives me a better understanding of what I need to improve on. The cardio aspect was running away from me and they brought me back on track and said, you know, that's a vital key to your job. It makes me feel good. 
it shows that people are concerned for their safety as well as the safety of the people that go to protect them. Winning the Foster McGaw Award this year is truly an honor and what it says to all of us is that you're doing the right thing and you're doing a good job. I think it's touched every one of us in a very special way. The work of the St. Mary's Health System in Lewiston, Maine has been going on for years, long before the current economic crisis. Today, this work is more important than ever, helping the community get through tough times. This is what community service and collaboration are all about. So congratulations to St. Mary's Health System, the 2008 Foster G. McGaw Prize winner, and to all the 2008 finalists for leading the way to a healthier America and for demonstrating the strength of the community connection. We're proud of you. Congratulations to the 2008 winner, St. Mary's Health System, Lewiston, Maine. We also honor the finalists, Bon Secours, Baltimore Health System, Baltimore, Maryland, Denver Health, Denver, Colorado, Theta Care, Appleton, Wisconsin.